Okay, I think I'm ready to start this. Uh, actually, nope, pause for a minute. Okay, take two. All right, take three, here we go. I've gotten about a mile and a half of this walk, and the reason I'm doing this right now is it'll be the last day for about six weeks at least that I'll be able to walk all that well because I will be having my toe fused and this video is going to include some from that day today is November 9th 2023 that surgery will be the 10th 2023 ah this is a good view got to share it anyway I am walking with a fairly stiff limp right now my gait is all messed up, so I've got knee problems as well. All because of my big right toe and the bone spur I have on it, as well as the cartilage degeneration in the joint that's going to be cleaned out and fused tomorrow. So, I made a joke shortly after my neck fusion that I would be fused from head to toe. Not really knowing that that was a thing. Apparently it is. Who knew? I also tore a calf muscle playing tennis a few months after my neck surgery. It's called tennis leg. Look that up. That took a while to heal from. A long time. It still gives me problems. Stupid toe. Not a big deal. But yeah, so I've got a limp going, which has caused knee problems. I've been in physical therapy for that. And anyway, there's always something, right? You start to get in shape, start to feel good, and then something gives out somewhere. Uh, that's life for you. It's meant to be a test. That's a big part of it, for sure. We're supposed to have joy, but it's a test, too. See if we can find joy, even in the middle of all the challenges. So... Little side note here, going downhill is a little bit more painful on the toe than uphill. If I were hiking on the mountain itself, that kind of uphill would be terrible. But it's just in the middle of the road. Watch me get hit by a car on this video. Somebody will have to post it for me. My family members when they find my phone later. But uh, going down is a whole lot worse. All right. I'm going to stop for now. When I start recording again, it'll probably be morning going into the toe f fusion surgery. All right, it's okay. It's the morning of the surgery, the toe fusion. Hi, Kimmy. Oh. And I'm stoked that it's a toe fusion instead of another neck fusion or back fusion. But don't let that scare you away from getting your toe, back, or neck fused is what it is but this will be a whole lot better how long have i been back kimmy 30 minutes how long did the surgery take about an hour okay i'm feeling pretty groggy and toe is throbbing but yeah it was about two hours ago that they took me back for surgery is that right okay and they definitely fused it. And they sent me some really cool pictures of it opened up because I asked them if they would. So I'll include them or I won't, but I think the surgery started 1130-ish. Now it's 145. All right, driving home now after the surgery. I've got some pretty cool pictures of it opened up wide that I may put in the video we'll see but other than feeling a little nauseous I do have some throbbing in the toe itself they put a block in there and it made all my smaller toes numb but it's not impacting the big toe as much but the tip of it feels a little numb but I am feeling throbbing in the toe that they operated on but when you see the pictures you'll understand why all right, back from the hospital. This isn't my first recording since it's been done, but 
my memory's not great right now. I had, uh, you know, the Versed and all the little drugs they give you for surgery. Um, by the way, my neck scar, you can hardly see it. But uh, right now, for the toe fusion, and I can't remember what the technical term is for this, they were going to do a chylectomy without a fusion if I had enough cartilage left in the toe. But I don't, after he got in there. It was clear that I didn't, he said. And so I'm fused there and got a titanium plate. I've got some great pictures again that I think I'll I'll put in. I'll at least put in x-rays of it. Maybe some people don't like the gnarly um, pictures that look like raspberry jello or something. It's kind of gross. But basically, I'm just feeling groggy still from the meds and so forth. And yeah, I get a pulsating pain in the toe right now. Uh, the block they gave they gave me a block. Not all surgeons do it, but really the block kind of missed the toe that was operated on, and all my smaller toes on my foot are numb. Um, like like your toes feel when they get really 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 cold. You, know, you can't feel them. That didn't make a whole lot of sense, but I think things are pretty good. I have to keep it elevated mostly for the next two to three days. He says I can't drive for six weeks, and I go see him in a week to have the initial dressing taken off of it, but really nothing much else to say about the toe fusion right now. I should include just, I got this funky little sandal on, which will be on for at least a couple of weeks from what I understand. So that'll be that. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, and I hope you all will have a stellar new year. It has just been six weeks now since my big toe fusion. This is literally going for my first real walk without the boot on. And it's cold. It's only about 33 degrees out here now, so anyway. Give a little bit of information after this on my toe. I'll give some pictures of it and all that and explain the procedure and how things are all going with that. Maybe I'll mention the neck and the back too, but this will be a toe video more in a bit. Ah! All right. It's actually December 27th, so it's been six and a half weeks since my toe fusion. Going up a little bit of hill right now, which they said don't do, but do you have to get home? Hey, that's cool. Moon coming up over the mountain. Anyway, the walk went better than the walk the day before the surgery. So this is promising. All right, so I'll make this quick, hopefully. This should just be a short video. After all, it's a toe fusion. Again, not neck or back, so like I've already had, but it did go really well. The walking, I just went three quarters of a mile. Like I said, it's a little cooler tonight. It's just under, it was 32 degrees now. It'll get to about 15 tonight. So I wanted to get this done before it got much colder. The, the walk, the hike, the walk went really well. Only a little bit of pain walking up the hill to my house. And it's not a steep hill, but I don't even know what the percentage incline is. Enough that I could feel my toe bending backwards. The tip of my toe not where they fused and so it's having to make up for a lack of flexibility elsewhere in it so i felt it but it was okay that didn't hurt nearly as much as my entire toe with the other walks and so forth that i did right before the surgery this was a whole lot better so as long as i can keep it from getting damaged here in the next few weeks i think i got another five weeks or so before I can start running on the treadmill and really exercising like I would like to. But needed to have it done. 
it was in bad shape. There was no cartilage left in that main joint of the big toe. And now there's just bolts in the plate. So shockingly feels good. Feels stiff, feels a bit numb like because of that stiffness. And it feels weird in my shoe, but because they fused it up a little bit, they have a little bit more of a natural curve upward. So I can continue to hike and walk and bike and all those things. So it's good. Got to show the leg lamp, right? Anyway, I'll add some pictures that will show my toe cut wide open. I got the surgeon to take some photos with his own cell phone and email, uh, text to me after the surgery. It's pretty cool. But here's the warning now. They will be coming up next. And if you're squeamish, you won't want to look at it. I mean, it looks like they mostly detached my toe and it's hanging there. So some people have found it pretty gross. Other people find it fascinating. I think it's pretty cool. So, and there will be a picture of the plate bolted into the bone, you know, the exposed plate and that. So kind of some bloody, yucky looking shots, but that's what they do to fuse your toe. I wish I would have asked for those kind of things with my back and neck, but didn't cross my mind that that was even a possibility. All right. Toe surgery six and a half weeks later. It's going well. Don't regret it. We'll see how things go this summer when I really start doing some bigger hikes and wanting to ride dirt bikes, meaning motorcycles and mountain bikes and my road bike and playing sand volleyball, that kind of stuff. So that's it for now. So all the best and bless to you. Bye now. Had to get a little bit of blood for your life, right? Absolutely.